Hello students. Today we are going to see the Pythagoras theorem. The Pythagoras theorem says in right angle triangle hypotenuse square equals to sum of the square of other two sides. Here I draw right angle triangle 90 degree. The side opposite to 90 you know that it is called as hypotenuse. We consider this side as C, this one as A and B. If, if we apply Pythagoras here, we get hypotenuse square C square equals to A square plus B square. For example, let us consider A equals to 3, B equals to 4 and C equals to 5. Now C square equals to 5 square that is 25. A square plus B square that is 3 square plus 4 square that is 9 plus 16 that is equal to 25. Therefore, here we get C square equals to A square plus B square that means hypotenuse square equals to sum of the square of other two sides. All these values of A, that is A equals to 3, B equals to 4 and C equals to 5. This A, B and C are called triplets of Pythagorean. They are called Pythagorean triplets. Let us check some more triplets some common triplets of Pythagorean. First one we check 3, 4 and 5. Already we check this is a Pythagorean triplet. If we multiply these numbers by 2, we get 3 2 is a 6, 4 2 is a 8 and 5 2 is a 10. Let us check 10 square equals to 100. 6 square plus 8 square equals to 36 plus 64 that is also equals to 100. Therefore, 10 square equals to 6 square plus 8 square. Therefore, 6, 8 and 10 gives us one more Pythagoras triplet. If we multiply by 3, what do we get? 3, 3 is a 9, 4, 3 is a 12 and 5, 3 is a 15. Let us check 15 square 225 then 9 square plus 12 square 81 plus 144 that also gives us 25 that is 15 square equals to 9 square plus 12 square therefore 9, 12 and 15 also gives us one more triplet. If we multiply this by 4 that is 3, 4 is 12. 4 4 is 16 and 5 4 is 20. We get one more triplet. If A, B and C is one of the common triplet of Pythagorean, if we multiply this by some constant K, that is KA, KB and KC, then all these three values also gives us Pythagorean triplet. Let us check some more Pythagorean triplet. One more common Pythagorean triplet 5, 12 and 13. If we multiply all these three numbers by 2, we get here 10, 24 and 13, 2 is a 26. Multiply by 3, 5, 3 is a 15, 12, 3 is a 36, 13, 3 is a 39 and so on. If we multiply by 4 and so on, we get all these are what? Pythagorean triplet. Now we move further, we will check tricks, some shortcuts to find the Pythagorean triplets. How we get Pythagorean triplet? First we see the Pythagorean triplets which start with that is smallest number is odd number. For example, first common Pythagorean triplet 3, 4 and 5 that we already know. 
second suppose start with phi we see here pythagorean triplet in which smallest number is odd number now to find remaining two numbers of this triplet first i square this number phi square that gives us 25 that is first step second step divide this 25 by 2 Here we get 12.5. Now 12.5 is a mean value of 12 and 13. Therefore, other two numbers of these triplets are 12 and 13. One more odd number after five we get seven. Again, follow the same step. Seven square gives us. Forty-nine, first step. Second step, forty-nine divided by two. Two twos are four. Two fours are eight. Twenty-four point five. That is the value between twenty-four and twenty-five. Therefore, remaining two numbers here are twenty-four and twenty-five. Like that, if you go further with first number, that is smallest number as odd number, we will get remaining two numbers by this. Shortcut method. Let us check one more number. Can I write eleven? We know that eleven square equals to one twenty one. That number divided by two gives us two six a twelve and sixty point five. That is between sixty and sixty one. Here remaining two numbers are sixty and sixty one. this is one of the shortcut method to find the triplets of pythagoras when smallest number is a odd number let us check some more pythagorean triplets in which one of the given number or known number is even number we start with 4 the first step divide this given 4 number by 2 2 2 is a 4 Second step, square this number. Two square is a four. Number before four is three, and after four is five. That is four is the average of three and five. Therefore, remaining two numbers are three and five. That is three, four, and five is Pythagoras triplet. One more. Uh, let us check one more even number six. First step. Divide six by two, we'll get three. Three square is nine. Nine is the number between eight and ten. Therefore, remaining two numbers are eight and ten. We start with twelve. Let's check twelve. Now, same method. Twelve divided by two gives us six. Second step, six square equals to thirty-six. Thirty-six is the number between thirty-five and thirty-seven. Therefore, remaining numbers of this triplet are thirty-five and thirty-seven. Like that, if we solve by this method, we will get Pythagorean triplets in which one of the given number or known number is a even number. Some more ideas about Pythagorean triplets. suppose we are given any two numbers or from any two numbers how to find pythagorean triplets how to get pythagorean triplets let us check two numbers we consider 7 and 5 let us consider this number as m 7 first number and second as n 5 now first number of the triplet a is Obtained by this formula, m square minus n square, seven square minus five square, that is forty nine minus twenty five, that is twenty four. Second, b is two m n, two into seven into five, two five is a ten into seven is seventy. Third number, c equals to m square plus n square. 
that is 7 square plus 5 square. 7 square is 49 plus 5 square is 25. It is 74. Now let us check. A equals to 24, B equals to 70 and C equals to 74. We have A square plus B square that is 24 square plus 70 square. 576 plus 70 square is 4900 that uses 6, 7, 14, 5, 4, 7, 6. And here C square 74 square that also gives us 5, 4, 7, 6. That is A square plus B square equals to C square. Therefore, these three numbers A equals to 24, B equals to 70 and C equals to 74 is uh, one of the triplet of Pythagoras. Therefore, from any two numbers, we can find Pythagorean triplets. By using this formula, first number we obtain by m square minus n square. Second number is 2mn and third number is by formula m square plus n square.